So in the case of an active transfer, like is shown in the video example, an adult female can be seen, in response to her infant's begging, moving to provide that tool to her offspring. After relinquishing that tool, her ability to acquire termites and forage successfully has been reduced. In contrast, prior to the transfer, the infant was not able to acquire termites, did not have any success termite fishing. So you see that at the point of transfer, there's a cost that is incurred by the mother, but a benefit, in contrast, that is received by the infant. So in this particular case, we were looking to see whether when an, uh, a more skilled adult chimpanzee relinquishes one of those termite fishing probes uh, to her offspring, if that functions as a form of teaching. We have a team of research associates and local trackers that have a great deal of knowledge about where these chimpanzees visit, and we've documented these now over many years. So the cameras are attached to a location in the forest, uh, systematically placed in the home range where the chimpanzees live. And back here in Washington University in St. Louis, um, as well as at Lincoln Park Zoo, the different types of video data are analyzed and screened for these behaviors. So we do see some unique aspects to the transfers that are occurring between mothers and their offspring. So we see indicators that these transfers involve some more active facilitation. So for example, we'll see uh, that a youngster will approach her mother um, and perhaps make a subtle begging gesture or something, um, even you know, a vocal begging gesture or something of that kind. Uh, and the mother may move to actively facilitate the transfer of possession of that tool. Um, so that's something really exciting. And we think that that um, is uh, indicative that they are you know, attending and responsive to that request and that need on the part of their offspring. It can be difficult to quantify social learning in a natural environment because you have to have the ability to to measure uh, the benefits for the learner as well as the cost to the teacher um, according to this definition that is broadly used for measuring teaching in animals. So with the uh, use of these remote camera traps we're able to get extensive footage um, and, and really beautiful footage that allows us to measure these behaviors before and after during this tool using activity. So part of the reason is methodological. That's given us um, the opportunity to really see and measure these things. And the other component of course is that evolutionarily we would predict these behaviors in the context of complex tasks. And these tool using behaviors that are observed in Central African chimpanzees have really only begun to be documented uh, in the past 15 years with direct observation uh, since this field site was started um, by Dr. Sands and Morgan. So although chimpanzees have been known to use tools for many years across Africa, we've really only in recent years had the opportunity to figure out what types of social learning mechanisms underpin the transmission of these behaviors with chimpanzees in this region.